Let's shift our attention to some political stories now. And uh, you know by now that the dust has settled on the National Democratic Congress's um, activity over the week. And now that the dust has settled, we are looking forward to what the NDC needs to do. After several hours of largely a peaceful exercise, delegates decided that Johnson Esidun Ketia leads the party as their chairman, with Fifi Fiavi Kwete as the general secretary. However, prior to the elections, people's credibility and integrity were called to question. The major casualty, Samuel of Usampafu, who is the outgone chairman, um, lost to Asiedun Ketia and was accused by his opponent for doing the bidding of the, uh, of the NPP. He, however, was virtually blamed for the party's defeat in the 2020 elections. Johnson Asiedun Ketia, on the other hand, was equally accused of awarding contracts to his family members to enrich himself. There were war, words of war uh, which were carried out to the Congress grounds where some candidates were booed at certain points in time at the venue grounds. But that, uh, can these individuals be able to put their differences aside and make sure that the party interest um, supersedes their personal issues? Let's uh, pick the thoughts of um, some of the individuals who've been monitoring the space for us. Uh, we're going to talk very shortly to um, a political science lecturer at the University of Ghana, Dr. Kwame Asasanti, who will be joining us soon. And then also we'll have the thoughts of a communications um, uh, marketer who uh, is, a, is a pro and will also give suggestions or cues to how the NDC can march forward and marshal all the, uh, the, the individuals or you know, um, supporters behind them and how they can brand or rebrand, if it is necessary, going into 2024. So on your screens, we'll shortly put some of the graphics and numbers and contents that were released in the um, letters from some of the candidates that lost their position. So this is Elvis Efriye Ankara, who was hoping to be the general secretary of the party. He says, the show of unity at the Congress, the excitement of the delegates, and the energy on display are ample manifestations of our motivation to go into the next election battle and win it for our party and Mother Ghana. That was in his concession speech um, a while ago that was posted online. Here is uh, Samuel of Oswampofu who also says, while this election needlessly witnessed the worst form of inner vilification, personal attacks and public injury to the hard-won reputation of our party through various means of public spaces and on social media platforms, this insensitivity would inadvertently affect our restitution. Samuel Fosuampofu, he was hoping to be the national chairman or retain that position. He goes on to say unity and cohesion is needed to engender the collective prosecution of our agenda for victory 2024.